My name is Khan Pham and I'm from Oakland, California. So uh, with P&I, um, what are your thoughts about it? And if you were a young person when it was passed, how would you feel in terms of your access to health care? So I'm 32 right now, but I still remember what it was like for me to be a teenager. And I struggled with my parents a lot. As um, an immigrant family, there was a big divide between my parents who didn't speak English and me who was being exposed to all this American culture. And if I had to depend on my parents' signature to get access to health care, to basic health care, um, especially around birth control and other reproductive health services, I, it would have really um, prevented me from going for it because there was already so much, I just, there was already so much um, misunderstanding between my parents that I think it would have just made it even harder for me to access basic services. And now looking back, I can, you know, with hindsight, I can say like, oh, you know, my, my relationship with my parents is so much stronger, but as a teen, it was so vulnerable and I was um, so confused that that kind of um, requirement would have really been an obstacle for me at 16 or 17. Sure. How do you, how do you, what do you think about, um, how do you think we can build strong families with young people around sex and around our bodies? I really like that idea of strong families, and I think we really need to open up our idea about what a strong family looks like. I think we're, you know, I think the last few decades have shown that we're forming our own different kinds of families, and there's, they include step families, and there's you know, multiple formations, and I think that young people need, um, we need to recognize that young people need support from a lot of different adults and um, and that information often comes from a lot of different sources. So, I don't know, this might not be an answer to you what you guys are doing, but I just, I like that idea of strong families. It makes me think of all the different networks and all the, um, kind of the new, I don't know what you call it, like, um, formations of families now that like we're we're just like adopted family like our adopted families are becoming just as important to us as our blood families and I think it's important as young people they're they're we, we they're seeking what they need too and so um, I envision a world where youth can go to a lot of different adults because it does take a village right for people maybe your parents don't have that kind of information that you need and so I envision a strong you know a society where we have strong families is one where where people can go to a lot of different adults in their lives for information and access to services and they're supported in making decisions and taught how do you make decisions about what's best for your body um, and it's something that you own and it's not you know it's not the property of some other people and it's definitely not you know, a chess piece that people are playing with in their in some kind of political game. So, um, I think we live in a new world, and so we've got to also envision new families that will support the really complex issues that our young people face.